Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you at non farm payroll Friday. Um, I believe it's the third, but it's the second, it says on my, uh, yeah, second of December. Um, not a lot to go over this morning. Uh, the main thing we want to look at first and foremost is the U.S. 10-year uh, on its knees, a low of 350. Uh, these lows over here were 356.7, 356.4. Um, this is a sort of make or break here today. Are we going to head to sort of... 330 which will be sort of this is 309 yeah are we gonna head to 310 um, or are we gonna bounce here this is now like a pivot obviously non farms coming up this is gonna be key so we'll be watching this uh, all day this is a trigger for dollar yen trades right certainly here at 354 you want to sell rally and sell rallies in dollar yen um, also, this is good for stocks. We're seller of stocks up here, 41.90. If anyone cares, it'll be our first stock trade of the year. Yes, trade of the year. Anyway, let's look at uh, your dollar above this key critical uh, 104.90 level. Um, we expect it to range around today, maybe blip. Uh, blip around in sort of a 1040 range ahead of non-farms um, very very bid and closed at the highs 105.28 here we are at 105.30 this is obviously also a function of this 10-year rate a uh, function of you know dollar yen's driving the bus and this is the most exaggerated dollar sell uh, 135.12 but this is number two uh, I guess tied for second, and here's cable above the 200 day now, which was 121. It was 121.66 yesterday, now it's 121.43. But this is um, now going to be support down there, 121.50. And the, the days of selling high ones in cable are now um, officially over. Um, kind of a change in trend here. Uh, we had that low at month end, 119 the figure on the fix, uh, just forced it down there, and then since then, um, we're 300, almost 400 points, I think 123.10 was the high yesterday, yeah, 123.11. Um, this is change in trend, so... Um, I mean, it's not really changing trend since the uh, 103.70s. This has been an uptrend, right? Um, but this should add some more foundational strength, the fact that we're well above the 200-day. Uh, and nobody's long this thing, right? Everyone's been trying to short this uh, all the way up uh, just because of the mess that is the United Kingdom right now. Um, but today we'll be looking uh, downside you know, support areas are 121.50. Dollar yen, not much to say, just getting hammered. 200 day in dollar yen is uh, 134.50. Should be support first time. Um, if we stay here in the 10 year uh, around 350, I do expect to see that today. Cross yen are all getting smushed. In a lesser, in sort of a lesser fashion, right? It's cross yen. It's not really in play cross yen. Um, dollar Swiss is interesting. This guy has been resisting lower lows. Double bottom now. 93.56 was this low. Today we hit 59. Uh, price is below 55. There should be some... There should and could be some stops. The problem with dollar Swiss, as you get down towards 90 cents, there's just a general uh, urge to buy it. So 
um, we would not break trade this uh, with any kind of vigor um, and certainly we're not going to trade this before non-farms um, but if yields go below 350 this this may be worth a moderate uh, moderate momentum style trade down there but dollar swiss down here uh getting into the sort of like we're in the cheap if you look at the general ranges right so it's <clears throat> 90 cents is your kind of lows one is your highs and then anything you know 91 92 93 um we have uh dip buyers usually playing that game so anyway we got CAD uh, released today as well, EuroCAD. Been crazy this EuroCAD, right? Um, on its highs. No real trades there that I see. And dollar CAD with oil at um, oil at eighty. Dollar CAD should be lower. I don't know what's going on with dollar CAD, but um, this. This looks like a sell to me. Uh, obviously, we don't go into this release with a position. Um, and we remember very vividly last non-farms and last Canadian payrolls. Uh, this is when we broke the uh, 135 level. This big red bar here and came out at plus 100,000. They're expecting like plus 6,000. Uh, and was the catalyst for a move down to 132.19. FX generally doesn't repeat itself, and oftentimes it does a whoopsie doodle. Um, you wonder if we're going to get a real shitty number out of Canada. Just to, all those, everyone's going to be ready for another big banger, but. <laughs> been a lot of layoffs, a lot of layoffs in tech, a lot of layoffs in crypto. Um, we'll have to see. Anyway, we'll wait and see. Um, 2.30 is really the D-Day. It's really a two-hour trading day, right? So 2.15, we get ready, and then we trade these numbers um, for about two hours, and then the day is done. So kind of a these non-farm days after 30 years of this is kind of a funny. It's like actually a real short day. Let's take a look at uh, Euro Sterling back through that 85.72, but did not like it down there. 47 the low. Um, anyone who sold through 72 is now out, right? Even the bigger guys, they leave 30 pointers, maybe a 40 pointer, half percent. Um, but that is kind of telling, right? This looks like this thing might want to go higher now. Uh, Euro Sterling rejected. Um, Strong rejection through that through that neckline down there. CAD Swiss, not much to do here. Um, maybe try and buy this thing. Uh, Sixty-eight, eighty-two. That's a hundred points away. That have to be numbers driven. Kiwi uh, through the two hundred day and looking very robust. As is Aussie. Uh, Aussie's not through the two hundred day actually. Um, but Kiwi is looking very strong. God bless the Kiwis. Um, nothing to do here. Um, and oh yeah, let's look at dollars are. What happened here? I mean, I should know this, obviously. Up to 1796, something terrible happened in, in South Africa. I'm sorry to be really laughing, but <clears throat> like, I got to get back into dollars are trading. Uh, I used to trade a fair bit. That is a monster bar. Feels like, oh, it says falls on the farm gate scandal. We'll have to look into that, see what the farm gate scandal is. There's always some good scandal uh, in South Africa. Gee, we 796 the high. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of research on farm gate. I'll come back to you guys. Uh, that's about it. There's not much to say here. We're gonna we're gonna sit back uh, and chill get some exercise this morning, and then be ready to roll 2.30 this afternoon. All right, people, good luck out there. Catch you.